Looking at Q4 earnings. Came in at $3.30. They beat by one cent. Sales a little light. Stock's getting hit today. It's down about 5% on this news. I think it should be down even more. The stock is up year to date. But it's crazy given the massive headwinds that we're seeing. I mean, higher rates, yes, higher rates was a story. And yes, you know, the Fed's raising rates. Have you seen where rates have gone in the past couple of weeks? The last three weeks? Because of the reports that we got showing that inflation is not slowing any place anywhere near the Fed wants it to be slowing it. So you're looking at, at not just macro part, right? But but you're looking at, at existing house, even the common sense, right? Just use your common sense behind it. What are you seeing with homes? I mean, with interest rates higher, obviously, there's going to be less home sales, right? 11 straight months now of lower existing home sales. That number came out today. 11 straight months directly impacts Home Depot. What happens when you get a new home? You start building new stuff. And yes, people might fix up their houses and stuff like that. But this was a massive booming market that I know personally because I'm building a house and the prices that we're charging for the same the same thing, whether it's epoxy for my floor, whether it's a, a screen enclosure. I mean, the prices range from, I mean, anywhere, you know, pricing wise, 5000 And for the same job, people will quote me 12000 It's insane. And they enjoy this great bull market, just lower interest rates, free money, everybody buying houses, just a massive market. Well, that's what happens when we have super, super low interest rates, which we don't have anymore. Hey, where are mortgage rates today? Are they over 6.5%? They were 3% to start last year in January. That's a massive, massive difference. It takes a lot of people out of the market in terms of affordability. This is Home Depot. This is a home builders, and a home builders continue to go up. They're finishing their projects. But what about a year from now? Two years from now, what's going to happen? And you think they should be trading at all-time highs? Business is going to be better next year than it's ever been for these companies in history? Are you crazy? Over the next few years where rates are? Highest levels since, man. Hey, look at inflation. We're since the 80s. So look at the CEO at a conference call. So he expects more price sensitivity. So what does that mean? Lack of pricing power. And it's evidence when you look at their numbers, guys. So you're seeing transactions, and you saw this a lot. You saw transactions down, right? So the amount of transactions, amount of people buying stuff are down. But ticket sales are up. So you're seeing transactions are down 6%, which is massive. However, ticket sales were up 5.8%, meaning that you had pricing power. So you're raising prices on the, on the fewer people, right, that are going there to buy stuff at your place. And this is normal across the board. But usually those ticket sales were higher than transactions, being down. So now transactions are down 6%, but ticket sales up 5.8%. So you have these customers buying less, right? Paying more, buying less. Now you're losing pricing power, which is huge. Because as we saw inflation go up, what happened? Companies continue to raise their prices and they raise prices much, much, much more than inflation. Don't listen to what they tell you. They're all bullshitting you. That's why their margins are much, much higher, right? Their margins should be even, to last year, if they raise prices the same amount as inflation, they're raising them much, much more than inflation. But a lot of companies this earnings season are saying the same thing. They're saying, well, you know, pricing power might not be there. And you had Home Depot, so you noticed the deceleration was more pronounced in Q4. So not seeing it better. Again, what we're hearing throughout earnings season. But the bigger points here is when you look at same store sales. Same store sales are sales. This is a big metric in retailers and restaurants. They're, they're from sales from stores that are open 12, 12 months or more. So Q4 and Q4, and this is compared to last year, same store sales fell 0.3%. That sounds like a big deal. It's a big deal when you see Walmart and 12%, 8% same store sales. <laughs> and Sam's, uh, which is part of Walmart, which is 12%. So if you listen to, to Home Depot, same store sales for Q4 fell 0.3%. This was the first decline in same store sales comp, which is comp means it's comparative to the last year, that Home Depot saw since 2009. That's why it's a big deal. Also, you're seeing sales came in a little bit light, $35.8 billion. They were expecting $36 billion for the quarter. So... When you look at sales and they compare to analyst estimates, sometimes you shouldn't really look at the analyst estimates because these estimates have been significantly lowered into this quarter, 
right? So you're just seeing a number on TV and be like, wow, they beat. That's great. They beat. But it's significantly lowered, right? The analysts lowered those estimates. So let's put this into real world terms. Because if you're looking at the sales that they report, $35.8 billion, it amounts to a 0.3% increase year over year in sales. If you're looking from this year, they reported Q4 into next year. So this year, those earnings are $16.69. Next year, you know what they're going to be? $16.65. That's a decline year over year. So you're looking at, at sales relatively flat, earnings expected to decline year over year, yet Home Depot is trading 18 times forward earnings? And then you say, wait a minute, Frank, but these companies are going to do a great job cutting costs. And that's been the theme. That's been the theme. Let's cut costs. Let's show that you know we have these structures. Let's lay off employees. And that's resulting in a boost to earnings. And right now, that is the thing that Wall Street wants to see. We saw that with Meta. Popped 20% plus. It was the cost cutting. It wasn't like the quarter was absolutely great. The stock was down, what, 50 60% from its highs. And it ramped up higher. But it was you know, cost cutting. And that's what they wanted to see. That's what we're seeing. But listen to this with Home Depot. Because this is bad news here. This is a company that could cut costs, and all these companies can do a jo- great job cutting costs, but they said they're spending an additional $1 billion to raise compensation for hourly employees. I'm not sure how it is by your Home Depot, or even Lowe's, but where I am, and this is like a three-store sample, there's almost nobody on the floor to help people. You have to go, like I have to look through six, seven different aisles of the 30, 40 aisles I have there just to find someone, and when you go there, a lot of the do-yourself projects, and you need help. You want to know exactly what to do, and there's not a lot of people to help you out. So that's the problem that so many companies are running into as well. We'll cut costs and cut employees. Hey, they're like, okay, well, we're going to raise the salary for these employees and make sure that we can get them in the store because, you know, and not only that, you need to pay them pretty good because they need to know what the hell they're talking about. It's not like Walmart. You have people just randomly walking around. You ask them about any item and they'll take the box and read the box, back of the box to you. And you're like, okay, I could, I could do that. <laughs> you know, they, don't, they just, whatever. And it's Home Depot. They have to know about their projects. I mean, they, there's a learning curve there. So it's not going to make it easy for Home Depot to, to cut costs to beat these analyst estimates, which again, are going to be revised sharply lower going into quarters and quarters and quarters, which we're seeing in the past three quarters, two quarters. Now we're seeing into next year. But more importantly, again, common sense point of view here with Home Depot. How do you see our economy six to nine months from now? Think about that and be honest with you. Maybe you have conservative or, or you know, aggressive estimates. You're going to see higher rates. You're going to see consumers definitely cut back on spending. That's what higher rates does. Your Fed's removing liquidity from the system as well. Quantitative tightening. You've seen existing home sales plunge. You're going to see much lower home sales or fewer home sales. And it's just not a, a good scenario for Home Depot, which seems to be priced for perfection at 18 times forward earnings.